looked ahead resolutely toward Jerusalem, knowing full well what lay ahead that week. Though his eyes were on the crowd that day, he looked ahead in time. And Jesus is looking at us today. He's looking upon this crowd and so many others, and he weeps for the lost among us. He weeps for the lost in our families. He weeps for the lost in our communities. He weeps for the lost in our world. He weeps for those who are proud and those who offer false praises. But he accepts the praise of the humble. And I pray that it's what we have done today. Where do we fit in? Where do we fit in? Is he weeping for us? So let us look with more determination than ever to the face of Jesus. And let us choose to follow him closer than ever before. Let us seek to live in the purpose for which we were created, to love and serve our creator God. Let's get to know him better. Particularly this week, draw closer to him than you've ever been before. Let's get to know him better in these perilous times so that we can make him better man. How do we do this? Let's listen more closely. Let's lay our lives before him. Let's give him our all. Let's allow him to be king of our lives. That's what true adoration is all about. Let's let it be known that Jesus Christ is the king of the universe, and he's the king of our lives. Let's be ready and willing to live this for him. This is why I love him. Let's contemplate how the Spirit has spoken to us through his word today. We know these words, we've been singing them for a long, long time. This, this, what you have heard in the word today, this is why I love him. When he went through the final week of his life on earth, his final week of ministry on earth, when he went through and then the finality of, of dying that cruel death on the cross, this is why I love him. He gave his life for me to purchase my salvation. Make that personal today. They nailed him to a tree. At last he cried to finish and he bowed his head and died. Oh, what a sight for sin. It was Jesus crucified. He did that for you and he did that for me so that one day we could live a blameless life and to live eternally with him. Let's sing it together as the Spirit ministers to each one of us. Let's look toward the cross. This is why I love you.